Hi everyone, welcome to this short video. So it will be roughly around 10 minutes video only. So we are going to solve two questions in this particular video. You need to integrate delta t into ut when the limit is from 0 to infinity, the limit is of time and when the limit is from minus infinity to infinity. So these two integration you need to solve. You can also try it on your own. Very, very good questions these are. That's why I thought of making a separate video. Okay, so you must have tried it. Now what usually people would have done? They would know only one process. They would say that's a delta t into ut. So t minus t naught, so it would be u of 0 delta t. Then they will say that, sir, I, we need to integrate. Then, sir, integration of delta t into de, delta t into dt, that would be 1 and u of 0 is 1 by 2. Then they will say that, sir, answer is 1 by 2. Wrong. Who said that u of 0 is 1 by 2? Who said that u of 0 is 1 by 2? Absolutely not. When you uh, open the book of open am, so there it is absolutely written that u of t is 1 for t greater than 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0. At t equals to 0, you cannot even define the step function. Like somewhere I have seen in a lot of videos, the people say that u of 0 is 1 by 2 just because that this is the function. So, you can take the average from 0 to 1, you can take the average that is 1 by 2. Absolutely not. That does not make any sense. Like if I take any RC circuit and uh, there I apply a step function. So, at t equals to 0, do you take this function? Do you take this voltage source as 2.5 ut? Because ut at t equals to 0 is 1 by 2. As per you, ut at t equals to 0 is 1 by 2. So, do you take this voltage source as 2.5 volt? No, you do not do that. So, at t equals to 0, we do not define it. We say that at t equals to 0 plus we are having 5 volt and that is fine. But at t equals to 0, we do not define it. When I told you, I, told, I said that there is sudden, sudden, sudden jump at t equals to 0, there is sudden jump. So, kind of your circuit will feel like that there is infinite frequency. This I have taught in our network analysis course, right? Although I did not take a signal system course, but this year I will take it. So at that time I will tell you more concept. So as of now, let's see the answer of this particular question. Let's see the solution of this particular question. So how we will go? We will go by the basic definition. So first I will draw the graph of delta t, then I will draw the graph of step function. So I will draw the graph of impulse function as well, and I will draw the graph of step function as well. So how do you define impulse function? How do you define impulse impulse function? So, if you know it, impulse function is made from rectangular pulse function, right? Have you studied about rectangular function? So, how do you generate impulse function? So, what do we do? Basically, we are having this pulse. We are having a pulse which is having a <coughs> amplitude of 1 by a. This pulse is having an amplitude of 1 by a. And this side is minus a by 2, this side is plus a by 2. Now, if a tends to 0, if a tends to 0, then what will happen? This a will come closer, closer, closer. If a tends to tending to 0, that means this point will come here. Both will work. This point will come here and this point will come here. If a is tending to 0. And where will this amplitude go? This amplitude will go to infinity. And this is how we define our impulse function, right? And how we can define it? step function like these are not the only definition there could be other definition as well that how you can define impulse function but this is one of the definition right and how will you define your step function so can i define my step function something like this using a ramp certainly i can define my step function using a ramp i will call that sir this point is minus a by 2 and sir this point is plus a by 2 and this magnitude is 1. This magnitude is 1. So, what I will do is that a will tend to 0. So, if a tends to 0, what will happen? At 0 only, at t equals to 0 only, there will be a sudden jump. If a tends to 0, that means these points will come closer. These points will come closer and it will come at the origin. So, at 0 only, there will be a sudden jump. So, this is one of the definition of your step function and impulse function. Is that definition clear? So, this is how we define impulse and step. Absolutely clear. This is a rectangular pulse. This is a rectangular pulse having minus a by 2 <coughs> from minus a by 2 to a by 2. That means it is having a pulse width of a having amplitude of 1 by a. If the pulse width tends to 0, then amplitude will go to infinity. That means in no time you are applying a particular function. In no time you are applying a very high amount of value to a particular circuit or to a particular system. That is your impulse function. And what is step? You are giving a sudden jump like there was no amplitude then suddenly you are giving a sudden jump to a particular system or to a particular circuit. This is how we define it. That A should tend to 0 and from 0 to 1 you are suddenly jumping. So, this is the definition. Now, what do, you, what do we need to do? We need to do this thing, right? There is some limit. 
then u t into delta t dot dt. So, what we need to do? We need to multiply. So, can I multiply both of the function? Certainly, I can multiply. This is also from minus a by 2 to a by 2. This is also from minus a by 2 to a by 2. After a by 2 to infinity, from a by 2 to infinity, it is 0. 0 into 1, this will be 0. 0 into 0, this will be 0. So, if I do the multiplication, so from minus a by 2 to a by 2, I will get a ramp with the amplitude, with the maximum amplitude of 1 by a. Are you getting this point? You can multiply both of the function, right? You just need to multiply both of the function. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. So, when we multiply both of the function, u t into delta t, so this is what I will be getting, right? Because amplitude is there from minus a by 2 to plus a by 2 only, after that it is 0. So, 0 into 1, that would be 0 only. Here, 0 into 0, that would be 0 only. From minus a by 2 to a by 2, we need to go and 1 by a will be multiplied with 1. So, maximum amplitude will be 1 by a. So, this is what you are going, going to get, right? Now, what I need to find? I need to find from 0 to infinity, u t into delta t, dt. This is what I need to find. So this is your 0 point. From 0 to infinity, that means this much area I need to find, right? What is the meaning of integration? Meaning of integration is the area. So, this area I need to find. Which area I need to find? This particular area I need to find. Because although the limit is from 0 to infinity, but after a by 2, there is no amplitude, no. After a by 2, everything is 0. So, I need to find from 0 to infinity, 0 to a by 2 only. So, this area I need to find. So, yeah, that's it. This is my target. So, my target would be to find this area. This area, my, my target would be to find this area. So, what that would be? What is this? This is a trapezoid, right? This particular structure is a trapezoid. This particular structure is a trapezoid. So, for that, what I need, need to do? 1 by 2 into addition of parallel side. So, these are the parallel side. So, this length is 1 by a. 1 by a. Or you can solve it like using triangular as well. This is a triangular and this is a rectangle. So, in that manner also you can solve or directly trapezoid concept also I can apply. The area of trapezoid is 1 by 2 addition of parallel side into height. Okay. So, this parallel side is 1 by a. What about this side? What about this point? What will be the coordinate of this point? That would be 1 by 2a, right? Because what is the slope here? Slope is 1 by a square. So, a by 2 to 0 if I am going half way I am going. So, if I am going complete way that means I am getting 1 by a. So, if I am going half way that means I will get 1 by 2a. So, this point will be certainly 1 by 2a only. And you can recheck as well what will be the slope 1 by 2a into 2 by a. Yeah, 1 by a square only. Yeah. So, this is simple mathematics. Look, I am not teaching comprehensive course on signal system. So, I am not going to spend uh, much time on mathematics. I just wanted to give you the concept. So, I am going from 0 to infinity. So, 1 by 2 into addition of parallel side that is 1 by a plus 1 by 2a into height. What is the height? This is the height that is a by 2 into a by 2. And when you solve it, what you are getting? 1 by 2 into 3 by 2a into a by 2. What is that? 3 by 8. So, this is the answer. This is the answer of the first question. What is the answer? 3 by 8. And this will be equivalent to, you can even make it minus 0, 0 minus 2 infinity, ut delta t dt. Or you can make it 0 plus 2 infinity, ut delta t dt. Because even if you take 0 minus or you, even if you take 0 plus, that will be the same point only, no? Like this area only you need to calculate. Even if you take 0 minus or 0 plus, the same area you need to calculate. But it will be different for minus infinity to infinity. What I need to calculate now? From minus infinity to infinity, ut delta t dt. This is what I need to calculate. From minus infinity to infinity. So, then what I will do is that, from minus a by 2 to a by 2. Now, which limit I will take? Minus a by 2 to a by 2. Because from here to here, I am calculating, no? Minus infinity to infinity. So, 0 amplitude, 0 amplitude, 0 amplitude. Then, some magnitude is there. That means, this area I need to calculate. Then, again, 0, 0, 0. So, this much area I need to calculate. Whatever the area that this triangle can see. So, what that area would be? That area would be so minus a by 2 to a by 2. This I do not need to write. You will understand on your own that what you need to calculate. So, that would be 1 by 2 into base. Base is a into height base is a into height. So, that is 1 by 2. So, answer for this question will be 1 by 2. Answer for this question will be 1 by 2. Although your logic that u of 0 is 1 by 2, here what people would have solved is that, they would say that sir, this is t minus 0, delta t minus 0 into ut. So, sir, what I can do is that u of 0 delta t and then integrate. Then sir, what I will, I will do is that this is the limit minus infinity to infinity, u of 0 is 1 by 2 and then you take, you do the integration of this one and uh, that would be, sir, 
this integration would be 1, so answer is 1 by 2. So, luckily, here you get the correct answer, but u of 0 is 1 by 2, that does not make any sense. Okay. So, that uh, concept does not make any sense. This is how you will solve the integration, just go by the basic definition. And uh, like, uh, you know Ram Balaji Vijaya, right? Ram Balaji, yes. He helped me for this particular question. So, he has taken signal system course. He has taken signal system course on YouTube only. You can check out his course. Like, if you are struggling with signal system, if you are struggling in the concept of signal system, then you can check out his course. Like, he did not ask me to promote. I am just telling because I learned a lot of things from him. Right? Because he is someone who is who is always helping and for me. So, yeah. You can check out his course. Like, a lot of students were saying that we are struggling with signal system. So, not only like uh, signal system is one of that subject where conceptual understanding is very necessary. Right? Like, uh, it feels like that it is based on problem solving, but no. Signal system of mathematics and signal system of uh, engineering, both are completely different thing. Like usually people combine it, but they are completely different thing and a very good amount of understanding you require. Like you need to relate it with circuit analysis. And certainly Ram Bia has given a very good understanding. He is AIR1, okay. He is AIR1 gate. So he has given a very good understanding because I, I also watched it one of some of the videos. So that's why I am saying it. He did not ask me to promote. He never said the he never said these kind of things to me. But yeah, he is pretty good there. So you can check out his course and he also helped me in this particular analysis. Yeah. So thanks to him. Okay. Okay then. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the analysis. The first one is 3 by 8, other one is 1 by 2. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. And also I will be taking signal system course this year. This year for gate 2026, I will be taking signal system course as well. So if you are someone waiting for that, then certainly your wait will be over this year. Thank you.